a day in the northwest province that started with plenty of uh, drama that will end in the nighttime and promises to have plenty of late drama as well. One time finalist Lesotho take on one of the joint most successful conquerors of the region in Zimbabwe. Lots of ground here as Bukagi is done well in cutting up the man and working the angle. There was an opening on the steer side, a better connection, and something may have been on. So he didn't quite wrap his foot around it. So comfortable was the save from a line. Maybe because he used his left foot, he could have chipped it to the furthest post. It could have been something different. When a team is matching how you guys play, he will definitely want to pull something from the back, and you don't know why you're pulling it out. Now, the shot with a mistake! Punished. Should have been punished then, finger pointing defensively. The man from the uh, defense force in Amputi offering his apologies to his teammates. It was a horror show of a, a mistake here. Yeah, all looks in order, and then out of nowhere, Petra applied. And that's, of course, other choice of closing down right from the front. We post and the touch. Zimbabwe get a little bit of momentum, and as soon as they do, they do. They open the scoring and bring the Moran Stadium to life. 19 minutes. Ball watching from Lesotho. Center backs were ball watching. Mputi could not charge for the ball. There is no communication there. That's why you saw Mutizwa just tapping the ball into the back of the net, actually. And a chance for Lesotho to find an equalizer by half time. Mutiman brings it home. The inspired substitution in the first half for Lesotho. Almost as though it was written. They find the all important equalizer with minutes to go before the half time break. It gets interesting. This uh, Kosafa Cup semi final. It gets really interesting. So, Robaganga, man, who plays for Dioli FC. That's a club again that's well represented in this uh, starting 11. Dioli having no less than five starters now. Here's a chance! Defensive error. These were special. What a pass, some could argue. Yes, the defender seems to have been turned inside out then, but the quality of the pass in the ball play through then, a possible pass of the tournament so far. Well, we are done well and finds the roof of the net. Chawabiwa with an assist. Bang! It's them with a two-goal cushion. It's the sort of with all to do. It's them looking good, looking great for a place in the final against Zambia as things stand. All on his own. The Sotu may finish it off here. He has their chance. They found the back of the net. What a beautiful way to start it all and end it here. The Sotu will not go down without a fight. They do not want to go down without a fight. Test of character. Regroup. Look at that. Oh. Nicely whipped in underneath the legs without any doubt. He gets it into the back of the net. Ball in now could be a killer blow and there's a killer blow possibly. Oh. He eventually gets his hat trick. There's that knocks for Dizwa, knocks it home then. And the two goal cushion is alive and kicking. Six goals served up. What a day of semi final play in the 2017 Kosafa Castle Cup. Now, is that a penalty? Yes. Yes, it is. The Sotu have a chance of pulling one back with a minute and a half remaining. Under a minute to go, need just one goal. As Puerto finds the back of the net and his teammates try and get that restart alive and kicking in no time. Wow, what a game. Seven goal thriller. It's Zimbabwe that will meet Zambia. But the second semi-final ends with the Sutu three, Zimbabwe four, all happening in 90 minutes.